I got something on my tongue. Ugh. So guys, sometimes people want to know what their sewer line looks like from the house out to the street. So what I'm doing is I'm actually setting up my camera because I'm going to run a camera down the sewer line and check it out. And the cool thing is I've got a flash drive in here. So I'm going to get to show y'all the best camera for YouTube. Well, the best camera for YouTube sewers anyway. What I'm doing is getting everything turned on and fired up. And y'all have heard me talk in other videos about running a camera and pulling the head off. Well, I'm running in a full four inch sewer line, so I am not gonna pull the head off. I don't need to, and I want it for the safety of having it there. Now that I've got everything on and going, I'm gonna reset my counter. And one thing I like to do whenever I start recording, show people the outside. Let them see that this really is their house. Now, I can see trucks, I can see things. I can actually look up and see the house. So I know that they know this is their sewers. And right here are their two-way cleanouts. So what I'm gonna do is, before I get started, I'm gonna turn my light on. I want it to be as right as possible in here. And the reason being is we've got an old four-inch cast iron line. So what I'm gonna do is stick my camera in, and the main thing I've gotta do, and when I first get in here, I can already see this two-way cleanout's holding water, which is not a good sign. That means it's either not installed level or there's a break on one end or the other and it's moved around. Now this is gonna lead to drainage problems. And what I mean is if there's a belly right here, toilet paper, poop, anything going down that sewer that's a solid is gonna end up hanging up right there and it's gonna lead to them having stopped up sewer lines. So what I wanna do is make sure that I can get my camera in, go in the right direction and sometimes that's fun. And I am going the right direction. And the problem is, I've got something right there it doesn't want to go past. Now I got past it. So that tells me there's probably a break or something. But as I go down it, I'm headed out towards the street. And I can tell when I stop, it's falling the right way because see that water running along the bottom? That's from heaven the camera and the cable and all that land under the water. So now it's displacing that water and making it run down the drain. So what I'm doing is I'm just literally going all the way through the sewer line out towards the city tap. Now look at all this buildup on the bottom right here. Now I can't tell if that's mud. I can't tell you know what that really is, but there's a lot of it building up on the bottom of the sewer line. Now here's what's gonna happen. That's going to lead to catching toilet paper, catching anything like that. And that's going to lead to stoppages along the way. Now it makes like a 45 degree drop right there and not a hard 90. So we're probably out by the edge of the street. And right now my sewer camera says I am 20 feet out from away from the house. Now I've got a little spot right there that looks like roots. Not a lot, but a little bit. Now when you get down towards the bottom here, and this is where it starts getting into the city tap, and you can tell because when I go right past this, and as you can say, I may not be able to see it, but yeah, you've got a drop right over there. So see all this buildup right here that I'm trying to just kind of ease on by? That is, it looks like a plastic bag, toilet paper, and there's no telling what all that is. Now I'm real careful Now what I'm trying to do is rinse off the head of my camera so we can see again, and I can't see. So something that I pushed down in there got on the lens of the camera and is making it blurry where we can't see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reel it back in, clean it off, and we'll run it down there again. there. That makes a little bit of a drop right there. So it's like there's a belly there. And you can tell by the way the camera angle turns. It's pointing towards the top of the pipe there. And then I go like a foot and it drops back down. So that lets me know that there is a belly or a break or something right there. 
I'm not going real slow here because I'm not really looking for any fittings. I'm going to turn my lights down just a little bit, see if that helps the view. Got a little bit of roof there. See, here's that. Now, it goes down into a drop right there before it comes back out the other side. And then that's a pretty big drop. And so you got a plastic bag or something in there. So, you know, there's all kinds of things been getting down in this sewer, to be honest. I don't see anything major. And of course, we got down there by that plastic bag, so we've got something on our lens again. So I'm going to pull it out. Here's why I tell these people is, is look. The, the sewer line doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look great. Uh, are there bellies, breaks, roots, stuff like that? Absolutely. But then again, this sewer is about 50 years old. And what I would tell them is, is, you know what? For 50 years old, it doesn't look too bad. I don't see any major breaks. I don't see any major compressions. I don't see any major problems other than right here by the clean out, there's a belly or a break or something that I have a hard time getting my camera past. I can see roots and stuff like right there we talked about a while ago. So, I mean, there's a couple of areas that, you know, it, it doesn't look great, but if I was buying this house, I wouldn't have any problem with this sewer. I would probably want to dig up this two-way clean out and get it replaced. I know it's holding water. I mean, we can prove that. That's right there. It's easy to see. And coming up through the clean out, I don't see anything major. See a little bit of water coming down the side. No breaks, anything like that. But that's just from me coming in and out with it. The only thing that scares me about it is that right there. The two-way clean out should not be holding water in the bottom. It's not level. It's either got backfall or a break or something. But that's something that I would want addressed because I don't want to have to clean out this sewer every other month just because of this issue. Come on, you think I'm that stupid? Don't answer that. <laughs>